What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back. Yo, guys, thanks for the support. The vid did awesome. Um, guys, this is an easy-ass vid, but before we get into it, um, drop 10K or whatever you want in the comments. Uh, personally, I like questions. Um, drop a question. Like the vid for a chance of winning 10K. 100 likes, and I give it away. Just go drop the like, man. We're getting the views. Just go drop the freaking like. It's one button, bro. So, anyways, listen. We got an easy, easy day, and it's just showing you guys all the silver and bronze investments that I want to focus on. I feel like a lot of people have the stubs to make on us uh, to buy on silver and bronze investments. So listen, we're gonna go over them. Your boy Bugs gonna show you who to invest in, and I'm gonna pull up stats right on my phone, as per usual over the last 14 days. Um, all players, here we are. Okay. First off, I'm gonna start with this dude on the Pirates. All right. Newman, he's batting leadoff. You know, this guy, I didn't even hear about him till recently. Um, he is 25 stubs. Listen, guys, um, he's batting amazingly, and he's on my fantasy team, and he's starting in my utility spot. Over the last 14, he's 20 for 53. He's got a dinger. He got 12 singles. He's got four doubles, a triple. Six ribbies, a three stolen bases with three walks. No, four walks versus seven Ks. Okay. He reeks of an upgrade. Next up, yo. So this guy right here. I'm personally picking up probably like 80. Um, I don't know about you guys, but this is my top investment. Uh this is a very good investment. Everyone slept. Next up, um, let's see. Let's look at the list over here. We got, all right, this is a silver investment that you guys all know. And Mr. Marte, he's going gold next update. If he doesn't go gold, I will be uh, contacting SDS because um, the man's on roids. And before he goes gold, you can get him for 735. Make a minimum of about 200 stubs clean. Um, I would go balls out and attack for this guy right here, Kento Marte. Um... He literally could go diamond if he doesn't slow down. He's on something. But anyways, next up. Uh, this guy, I don't even know who this is, but supposedly he's slaying the game. And I said it last video. This dude right here, he's 200 stubs. Listen. Alright, it's a little risky. Would I recommend it? No, but I just want to put it out there that he's beasting. Um, Next up. Ian Desmond, man. Um, He's feasting. He's beasting. He is just absolutely beasting. Um, where the hell is he? Is he non-existent? There he is. All right. Guys, listen. 50 stubs, okay? Um, I'm not even going to read you the stats. Just know that he's top 12 over the last two weeks. Um, he's caught fire. We all knew it was coming. It's been a freaking while since he's been good. But man, um, it looks like he found his swing. And it looks like your boy Bugs needs to cop. So, I'll be buying more later. But anyways, next up. This is silver and bronze investments. Next up, we got Fernando Tatis and we got Eloy Jimenez. Um, Tatis is really not that expensive. I have two. I will be buying another. 605 on the spot. Um, yeah, my boy Tatis is slaying the game. Go pick him up. Next up, we got Eloy Daddy. Big boy, Mr. Dinger, Eloy Jimenez. 116 stubs. Listen, if you go silver, you're going to make stubs. All right. Just go get them. Next up. Speed Pete Daddy Alonzo. Man, the guy hits dingers. And, man, he's a he's 1K. You can get him for 811. Not bad. You'll make stubs. But, dude, I just want him on my lineup. I'm going to start him in my budget squad. Because, holy crap, watching this guy play, play makes me happy as a Mets fan. Even though the Mets suck. Um, Yeah. So, P. Alonzo, not a bad investment if you can get him for the sell now. Put a buy order on him, cop him, and you're valid. All right, next up, David Dow Daddy. Um, He's still tearing it up. He's still feasting, and he's 676 stubs about to go gold. So, this investment right here is pretty filthy. And if he goes gold, which he's one overall away from gold. If he goes gold, you make a freaking ton of stubs. You're going to make about 250 clean. And I just think it's valid. Um, next up, we got Max Muncy. Is he gold? Nah, he went gold. Never mind. 
Um, Kingery on the Phillies, man. This guy's a super utility player. He pretty much plays every single position. Um, yeah, look at that. Um, listen, he's a 65 and he's 101 stubs. I already have one. I'm not going to invest. Not a bad investment, but the fact that he's a 65 doesn't make me want to invest right now. Next up, the young stud on the A's. Uh, Loria, I think it's Loriano. I don't even know how to say his name. It's all, he's on the athletics. He's like about, he's like two years pro, I think. Last year he was a rookie. He's about to go silver and guys. Yo, this is a very good investment. Listen, if he goes silver, you can make 200 plus stubs. Go snag this dude. He's on fire. Um, He's very slept on. I will be placing probably 10 plus. Join the wave. Join Bugs. And yeah, your boy Bugs is going to thrive off this one. He's batting. He's at top 30 over the last two. Deserves an upgrade. The guy's feasting. And next up, we got Renfro. You know, I, I could just tell right off the bat, his average sucks. But, you know, if he goes gold, he's a freaking beast pitch hitter. Honestly, right now, it's silver. So if he goes to a 79, this could be a good investment. I will invest a little bit, a little bit in the Renfro daddy. Um, Here he is, 300 stops. I'm just going to invest in one. We'll see how he does tonight. We'll wait, it's a pretty freaking good investment, though. Next up, we got old grandpa Brian Dozier. Here he is. Um, supposedly Story broke his thumb. I'm upset about that. Grandpa, here he is. 225 stubs. Not a bad investment. As long as you keep this up. I have three. I'm going to keep it at that. Not a bad investment. Next up. Next up. Mr. Mets fan, Jeff McNeil, man. Woo -hoo -hoo. The average. His average is beautiful. The way he swings is beautiful. The way anything he does is beautiful. I mean, I'm a Mets fan, but like, yo. His power should definitely be upgraded, no matter what. Listen, he's not the best power hitter, but he's got it. What does he have? He's got five home runs. Okay, listen. If you have five home runs, I don't think your power should be 38. There's people with, like, five home runs that have, like, 60 power, 70 power. I think he deserves a power upgrade. And over the last two weeks, he has two home runs. So, honestly, maybe he's trying to find his power a little bit. But he's mostly contact. And realistically, his stats are freaking dirty. Uh, he, he should go gold next update. Next up, this guy, I think his name is Lords. I, I, I could be way off, but this is how you spell it. I don't know if that's Lords or Loretis. I don't freaking know, but man, he's beasting. He's feasting. The Blue Jays, um, Lords Guerrero, Guriel Jr. Um, probably not how you say it. People are going to roast me in the comments, but it's okay. All right. This guy's feasting. Your boy Bugs is scooping and that's it. Next up, Vogelback is still in the mix, man. Mr. Vogue Daddy. He's only 75 stubs. One of the most underrated players in the league, in my opinion. He could freaking hit, dude. Next up, Cole Hamels. All right. OG ancient Cole Hamels could still freaking throw the baseball. And at 580 stubs, your boy Bugs is copping many. Uh, if he goes gold, I'm making 400 plus clean. Uh, thank you for that. You're welcome, everybody. H and Cole Hamels is back in action. Um, Eduardo Escobar still doing good. Yo, this one might surprise you. If you guys remember, if you're one of my OGs, I was talking about Jackie Bradley maybe getting traded because he's a beast and he doesn't deserve to be on the Red Sox. He needs better. He needs a better team. He needs to bat lead off. You know what? JBJ, top 50 over the last 14. JBJ has been turning up a notch. And yo, I'm, I'm the biggest fan of JBJ. I had him in fantasy when he had a 28 game hit streak. And man, what that guy did for me during that freaking that month, during that year of fantasy baseball, yo, he dropped like 200 plus fan points in a day. Um, Go pick this guy up. I He's batting seventh, eighth, but yo, it's JBJ. He's like literally like one of the most underrated players in the league. I'm obsessed with the guy. He definitely deserves an upgrade. Um, yeah. Um, let's see. We got Danny Santana. Oh, Malik Smith, man. Malik Smith has been back. He got pulled up from the AAA and he's feasting and he's about to go silver. Um, 56 stubs for the man. First of all, he's fast as hell. Second of all, I say his freaking hitting gets upgraded because he's been batting like a beast. Um, over the last 14, he has three homers. Listen, listen. 
Um, three stolen bases, two walks versus 14 strikeouts. All right, the walks and strikeouts are awful. But, man, the guy's hitting pretty freaking well. Over the last month, he's batting about 280. He's feasting. Um, Another one. You know, I'm going to just give one more. Uh, you know, no, 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 no. Let's get into freaking pitchers, all right? Let's get into freaking pitchers, okay? Uh, let's see. So, I got Cole Hamels and Fires. Fears, Fires. I don't know how to say his name. On the athletics. Um, He's still feasting. He pitched a no-hitter not too long ago. And honestly... Ever since the no-hitter, he's been pitching freaking well. If we can find him here. Yo, 25 stubs, yo. If you're watching this, go pick him up. Oh, uh, let's see. Any more bronzies? We got Lance Lynn pitching well. And last but not least, let's check the relievers. Uh, I know Brad Hand's doing amazing. Will Smith's doing really good. Uh, and this dude, Marshall, on the White Sox. Don't even know who this is. It's because he got a couple. Whoa, he has three wins in the in one week. That's insane. Oh, wow. All right. That's all I got for you guys. Um, Gant on the, the freaking Cardinals is still doing freaking well as well. Um, Will Smith on the Giants is probably a top one. And, of course, I'm versing him this week in fantasy. And, of course, I'm freaking losing, man. Uh, Will Smith. All right. He's gold already. All right, guys. That's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more vids tomorrow. Tomorrow we got three videos market crash all that good stuff three vids come out show your boy support hope you enjoyed all the low-key investments peace